how you doing? Pepper's, you sad girl today? Yep, Pepper's sad girl and I have Gatorade! Oh, perfect. <laughs> the thing doesn't open until 10, that's like 20 minutes. So let's just hang out here for a second, finish oh. eating. It is Saturday morning and we are here at the St. George Temple. It is so beautiful here. The temple is just so white. I love how white it is. Um, it's a gorgeous day. We are hanging out in the shade. We got some breakfast and ate it out here on the lawns of the temple and we are just about to go hang out with some cousins at the Children's Museum. We've heard good things about it. It's supposed to be really fun. Okay, hurry, let's go. Porter is anxious to go, so we're gonna get going. We gotta get all our stuff and put it back in the car, okay? Then we're gonna go to the museum. To the museum, let's go. Being patient. What are those? What you got? <laughs> Carrots. Okay, plant them in the garden. <laughs> this milk, you just gotta squeeze the udders. And the milk comes out, but I think it's just water for it now. Squeeze them. Just squeeze them. No, they're not hard. Watch Adler, he'll do it. Look. No! Carter, do it! You're so silly. When we first watched, when we first watched him here, Porter said the, the cow has a wee wee. I had to explain to him what udders were. Not the most fun. So a sheep and a bunny and a cow. So that children's museum was the coolest children's play place I've ever been. It was just so well thought out and like lots of things for the grocery store. There was lots of fruit and vegetable for the kids to play with. There was enough for every. There was like stuff, cool science, stuff, cool hands on. It was just. And we really liked it and it was free. It was free. It was free. It's free. They um, accept donations and other than that, you don't have to pay anything. Kids are free. That was obviously the best part. Um, so anyway, we went back to our hotel for a little break after that. I was up a lot last night because Piper woke up with this weird like cough and her breathing was like really weird and so it kept me up just because I like, I don't know, if you're ever a if you're a parent and your kid wakes up with weird breathing, it's like, you ha I, I can't go to sleep unless I'm hearing her breathing, so anyway. I am very tired. Then, oh, I got a lot darker in here. Now we are on our way to lunch with the family, and it'll be fun. So we're going to go pick up Zach from the temple, and we're going to go uh, see everyone and eat some food. And I feel like there was something else I was going to say. I can't remember what else I was going to say. It is Sunday morning and today has already been a trial of my patience. These just getting packed up and being hungry in the morning. Yeah, and so yeah, it's just... Porter, well how would you describe this morning so far? Mm. Yeah, that's how I would probably put it too. There's been a lot of tears from this one. Oh my goodness, she has been a handful. We just don't talk about swimsuits around her anymore else she freaks out. I'll text you right now. Right around. 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 Right around.
This is my cousin Tyson, one of the guys who came up to visit. He just got back from his mission in Mexico. What was the actual mission? Mexico, Guadalajara. Guadalajara, Mexico. So he speaks fluent, awesome, perfect Spanish. We'll, we'll see the Rancho Cucamonga exit on our way to California. Just stop. Yay! We'll see him in two. Maybe we'll too. update all your fans on my vlog about you. Come and visit me in California. We, we will visit you in California. I love you. So you got plans. I just wonder if you're going to stay here so you guys can. Okay. Two can fly. Okay. Hey, you ready for a big, nice, long, fun trip? Yeah. Piper, you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Lemonade? Let's do it! Gatorade? Okay, here's to the next uh, six hours, seven, seven hours. hours so. Pray for me. Hey, we're two and a half hours away from home, and we stopped at a gas station to get some uh, treats, some snacks, and to use the restroom. And Porter was so excited because he wanted to get a ring pop. I mean, who doesn't get excited about ring pops? It's accessory and treat at the same time. I mean, it just makes sense. Win win. Um, but as we got on our way, and we got some dinner that they had to eat before they got their, their treat, uh, we discovered that Porter's treat was shattered. Wasn't even connected to the ring, and was just broken to pieces within the wrapping. Needless to say, he was heartbroken, and he still is. Actually, seriously though, like, it made us sad too, because he was really excited. He ate all of his chicken nuggets in order to be able to eat, to partake of his dessert. We had some backup though. We had like a giant uh, chocolate cookie from earlier, and so he was able to eat that, but then even after that, he's still super sad about it. So I don't know what we're gonna do. It's just one of those life life lessons yeah. that sometimes Honestly, sometimes it, life goes ways you don't want it, it to. It does. It breaks a parent's heart. Like I'm like legitimately upset about this. Like I really wanted to even get off and get him another one at some random gas station, but we were like been cooped up in this car all day and I just really want to get home. So but Yeah. Life lesson for all of us. Number one, check your ring pops before you buy them. They could be shattered. A, a good and you can lesson. easily tell. Like I knew right when I held the ring pop that it was it was something wasn't right lesson number two set low expectations <laughs> no I was gonna say lesson number two sometimes life doesn't go the way you want it to but you can always find the silver lining there's usually another cookie laying around that you can enjoy that's good there you go show them some of that beautiful here's where we're Flagstaff at. forest we made it home we're going to bed. <gasps> he peed all over his pants. Oh, okay, gotta go get some new pants for the kid. You can let him walk. His pants aren't buttoned up because they're just gonna fall. 